Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAP SD ABAP debugging for functional consultants. In our previous video, we discussed about how the pricing date will be determined into sales order in the debug mode. And today, we will see how it will be determined in case of invoice. So I'm going to create one invoice in VF01 transaction code. Okay, as I said earlier, first we need to understand which field will be holding the pricing date before we debug. Then only on that field, we can apply watch point. Fine. So I'm going to create invoice for this delivery document. So there are two items in the delivery. If I open the first item, I can see pricing date as 3-2. And uh, you can click on F1 here. OK? And uh, click on this uh, technical information. So this field exists in the table VBRP. Field is PRSDT. Right? Fine. Now we understood which field it will be stored. It's stored in VBRP. Field is PRSDT. So in sales order also, field is a PRSDT only. Okay, let me try to create invoice one more time. Okay, so if you click enter now, then Pricing data will be populated. So this is the right time, right place where we need to apply the breakpoint. So let me add the breakpoint now, slash H, and click on enter. So debugging switched on, now click on enter. So now the debugger has been started. So let me add those uh, field VBRP, PRSDT, and XVBRP PRSDT. As I told several times, sometimes we don't know which field the value will be populated. It might be in VBRP structure PRSDT field or XVBRP PRSDT. So we need to apply watch point on both of this field. Then only we can understand how this field is getting populated. Right? As of now, in this program, these two fields are inactive, right? So we need to go to the previous program. So we should click on the F7, return. Click this F7, F7, F7. One more thing we should understand here is that whenever the field is inactive, then we can't apply watch point. It's saying that the field doesn't exist. You see, the program defaultly determined here. So that means this variable is looking in this program but in this program this variable is not available right yeah that's why we should wait until this should be inactive so active click on f7 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 yeah now see vbrp has been enabled as of now there is no value inside this field let's apply watch point on this vbrp prsdt sorry VBRP watch point PRSDT, right now watch point has been enabled on the VBRP PRSDT field okay now click on F8 now hmm. to my surprise you see here so the v, XV, so you should understand one thing here right so first of all XVBRP holding the value that value passed to the structure VBRP right but still XVBRP holding the PRSDT value, but still who, how this XVBRP has been holding the value, right? We should know the source for this, right? So we apply the breakpoint, set watch point on that variable, it stopped here, but still we didn't identify the source for the PRSDT update in the VBRP table, right? So, 
we should uh, what we can do now go to standard you see that uh, tab standard click on standard right um, apply watch point on this this so this is stack basically okay stack is about screen and stack okay stack is nothing but a history and the document other program flow right so, so this is the flow the program reached to this point so currently we are in this uh, stack 5 to reach stack 5 stack 4 has been executed in the stack 4 only we are calling stack 5 right but still in stack 5 we have seen it has been determined but still it didn't help us because uh, it's not the actual source where we'll get that present data let me go to the stack 4 double click on that uh, here okay here double click here uh, apply watch point here sorry breakpoint here again click here okay it's a model pro program so you can't apply breakpoint here okay no problem uh, click on save now so why we need to save here if you save here then this breakpoint will be saved i will tell you what's the purpose of this save okay now let me restart it try to create invoice one more time so this time i am not going to apply slash h here I'm just going to click on enter here because I already applied a breakpoint in one of the program. Click enter now. See, yeah. Enter has been pressed. Now see, we we directly came here. Now add the two variables again. See, here also it is blank. Now apply watch point on these two variables. So now watch point has been applied. Now let me click F8. Okay. Hmm. You see, I have pressed F8. Still, XVBRP has been updated. Right? Still, I didn't get the source where it is determined. Okay. So again, I will do the same thing. XVBRP, XVBRP. Okay. Okay, so now we see that XVBRP PRSGD structure updated from the table only. That means the table. So if you see here, the table structure both should be same most of the times in the standard programs okay if you add the parentheses open parentheses close parentheses then it is called table internal table you see this table contains two records right now what i will do let me um, this time apply the watch point on this table itself let me restart it Okay, apply watch point on this table, watch point on this field, again watch point on this XVBRP as well. Click on now, click on F8. Oh my god, you see already we have data populated here. Let me add PRSGT. Hmm, no use here. Fine. This of no use. Let me restart it one more time. Let me do the debug. This time I will apply breakpoint slash H. Okay. Enter. Hmm. So let me click on F7, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, now it has been enabled VBRP PRSGT. Apply much point again, go back, go back. Yeah, now you see, uh, let me apply watch point again on both the fields VBRP. XVBRP and table no table not required okay leave it okay let me um, press F7 F8 now okay now I have applied watch point on this PRSGT XVBRP and VBRP PRSGT click on F8 hmm. again same thing happened here see this time VBRP PRSGT has been moved to here so 
we should understand one thing here so whenever we apply a watch point the break point will stop after updating the field not before updating the field updated the previous line 289 only not here okay that's that we should keep in our mind so vbrp prsdt has been moved to xvbr prsdt right still it doesn't help us we need to know the store source for this one right again go to standard hmm. what we can do so go to each and every stack and apply the breakpoint come here apply the breakpoint come here apply the breakpoint okay now, now let me save it hmm. it has been saved let's start it one more time i can give the delivery number this time i'm not going to apply the breakpoint i'm just simply going to enter it enter Hmm. Now let me apply the breakpoint one more time. Hmm. Now I click on so F8 now. F8. F8. Hmm. Now you see the source here, right? So in line number 170, move corresponding VBKD to VBRP. That means whatever the field you see. In VBRP comparing to VBKD, then move the values. That's the intention of the statement. Okay, that means PRSDT is determining from VBKD table of an order. Let me add that PRSDT. Let me add that VBKD, VBLN. You see, this is the order number, right? So this is how we should. Uh, so this is source basically. This is the source from VBKD. PRSDT to VBRP, PRSDT has been determined. So from sales order pricing data to invoicing item, pricing data has been updated. But still, this is not the final pricing data. It might change if you click on F8. We don't know that, right? There might be some other code written after this program to change the pricing data. So we should keep on click on F8 until the invoicing screen opens. Right? Click on F8 now. Oh, yeah, again, same thing, same date, no change in the date. Yeah, F8, again, same date, 2023, 0203, F8, again, same. Now it has been cleared. F8, again, it's moved from VBK to VBRP. F8, 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 F8. F8, 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 sorry, I'm pressing F7, fine, sorry for that, anyways, F8, 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 one more time, yeah, you see, until the screen opens, we should keep on press F8, then only we understand, we can understand any any other places, any code written to manipulate the pricing data. Okay. Fine then. Okay, in some other cases, what will happen is that during save of an order or invoice also, some code will trigger. Right? That, that, that also you should check that. Okay, fine then. So, Debugging order pricing rate is simpler compared to invoice pricing rate debugging because invoicing time, so many programs will be called, so many validation will happen, so it will be quite challenging, but still it's not difficult. With the help of a heavy practice, definitely you can learn it easily. Uh, that's it for this video. We can catch up in next video. Thank you so much.